wraps around the red planet Mars. Deep within its crimson sands, beneath the towering Olympus Mons, a sinister plot unfolds. A once bustling research base now lays eerily silent, save for the unsettling echo of distant growls. Not from its human inhabitants, oh no, but from the monstrous Carnomorphs, an alien species that has claimed this place as their hunting ground. A quartet of brave souls, the remaining survivors, dare to defy the odds. They weave through the maze of metallic corridors, their hearts pounding with fear and adrenaline. The base, once a beacon of scientific discovery, has morphed into a labyrinth of dread. Each turn, each door could spell their doom, for the Carnomorphs lurk in the shadows, waiting to strike. Yet they are not the only danger. Among the survivors, a mind teeters on the brink of madness. A once revered scientist, his brilliance now overshadowed by insanity. His fascination with the Carnomorphs has spiraled into an obsession, a deadly game of cat and mouse. One by one, the survivors find themselves ensnared in the scientist's trap. Rooms sealed tight, no escape. The chilling realization dawns on them. They are not alone. The Carnomorphs are with them, their grotesque forms illuminated under the flickering lights. The doors close, screams echo. A solitary figure remains, the last survivor. She navigates the darkened stairwells, her breath ragged, her body weary, a glimmer of hope in the distance, a ship, a rocket, their salvation. She pushes forward, the base falling away behind her as she climbs aboard, ready to escape the nightmare, ready to return to Earth. But in the shadows, the scientist smiles. His madness, his obsession, it was all part of a grand design. 